G'day, in this video we'll be talking about the three only ways that you can build soil again in carbon. They are decomposition, humification and the production of biochar. We'll be talking about uh, the importance of uh, each of these pathways, the efficiency of this pathway for building soil again in carbon uh, and the benefits of going down each of these pathways. Uh, this is the third video in the Soil Organic Carbon series. So if you like this video, make sure to go check out the first two and we also have future videos coming out about each of these uh, pathways and then applying these into your own um, enterprise. This channel, Agriculture Explained, is produced by my company, Agrisol. We help farmers uh, transition to regenerative practices uh, with our regenerative agriculture consulting. If you are a farmer in Australia wanting to transition to regenerative practices and implement things that we talk about in this channel, like building soil organic carbon, check out the website at www.agrisol.com.au and sign up for a free consultation with me to see where you can get started uh, in building your soil health. Also, the whole Soil Organic Carbon series is free on YouTube as well as on our website. There's a whole range of additional supplementary uh, material in there um, purely for your enjoyment. And there's no email opt-in at all, so it's, it's just free content. Okay, so there's three different pathways for building Soil Organic Carbon. If you don't know what Soil Organic Carbon is, go check out the first video in the series. Um, that will explain everything um, about Soil Organic Carbon and what it is. So the first pathway is building soil organic through decomposition. So this is taking that labile organic matter. So this is biomass from our plants. So say a plant, um, we, we kill a cover crop, that biomass in the, in the leaf material and the roots break down. So the available organic matter that is available for microbial decay or um, consumption is called labile carbon. So that is consumed by microbes and in that process, they produce resistant organic matter. Resistant organic matter is the most basic or inert form of, of organic matter that can't go um, through further decomposition by our microbes. So once it's in the resistant organic matter uh, component of soil organic carbon, it's very stable, but this whole process requires labile carbon to be moved into that and it's very has a very low efficiency. So when we look at the carbon conversion efficiency, so CCE, here it has a 8.3% efficiency, which means only 8.3% of the carbon that we start with in the biomass actually ends up as our resistant organic matter. So the carbon that doesn't get converted into resistant organic matter is either tied up in microbial biomass or is released as carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere to recycle into our plants and then back into um, this process. So as we'll discuss in the decomposition pathway video, um, it's still an important pathway, but you're not actually building that much carbon. You're only building, you know, it has a very low conversion efficiency. So it's a great it's a great way to cycle nutrients and material, but in terms of building soil organic carbon, it has a very low efficiency. And that's because the labile organic matter is being cycled through our microbes and being released as carbon dioxide. The next pathway is significantly better, and that's humification. So this is where we take root extradites. The, the plant produces root extradites, gives them to mycorrhizal or fungi, and the mycorrhizal or fungi basically go into soil aggregates and build these organo-mineral complexes. Um, called humus. Now this is a very efficient process and about 46% of the carbon that enters into this system ends up as humus which is a part of our stable soil organic matter component and humus is a really really important um, thing substance in our soil and contributes a lot to the uh, chemical physical and biological properties of our soil. Likewise we have a whole video on humification so go check that out super important this is the the most beneficial way of building soil organic carbon um, and as farmers we need to be tapping into humification when we're looking at building soil organic carbon. Finally we have biochar or charcoal. Uh, so the process of this is where we take biomass, so say woody material, and what we do is we take this biomass and we burn it under a low oxygen environment called pyrolysis that we make char. And now there's a bit of a difference, a, a difference between biochar and the char that we get at the end of this process. And effectively you need to enhance that with minerals uh, and microbes as well as rehydrate it um, to, get, to make biochar. Now this, th this process as it, as it is in itself is pretty efficient. So it has a, a carbon um, conversion efficiency of 41.4%. Quite good. So you lose about half of the uh, material at the start during the burning process. Um, as carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. But overall, it's pretty comparable to the humification pathway. And in the end, you end up with the resistant organic matter, which is somewhat inert. It's important as a stable form 
uh, and building structure in our soil. But the big problem with the production of biochar, and we'll touch on this in the video uh, on biochar, is that it's very expensive to do and it's not quite sustainable because if you have to chop down a bunch of trees to then burn them to then put onto your, onto your paddock, you know, you're just taking it from here and putting it to there. It's not, it's not quite a sustainable system. Now, there's also opportunity to build soil organic carbon with uh, controlled burns, which kind of comes under, the, under the, the biochar example, where you're doing a cool burn across your paddock or your, or your grassland. Similar to fire stick farming, um, it has the potential to build soil, uh, soil organic carbon. I'm not too familiar with it, um, and I think it can get either go one or two ways. I'm a big fan of humification, and we can do that through cover crops and perennial pastures and increasing our root extra dates and, and supporting microbes. But again, we have a video for each of these topics, so make sure to go check them out. Thanks very much for watching. My name's Teal. Cheers.